Hey guys, this is Arsenal Giants PS3, and welcome to my Fulham 2012-2013 FIFA 13 ratings. Now, Fulham are a team which were pretty impressive last season, actually, uh, and that comes courtesy of one man, Clint Dempsey. And as you can see already, at the bottom of your screen, Dempsey is still in the squad because as of the time I'm recording this, which is uh, 12th of August, um, Dempsey is actually still a Fulham player. There has been a lot of linking uh, between him and various Premier League clubs, um, but at the moment he's a Fulham player so I've put him in this Fulham team now I'm just going to talk you through them and we have some pretty exciting uh, some pretty exciting players in this team but first off we have Schwarzer Schwarzer has always been a very consistent goalkeeper um, not one of the best not one of the worst uh, he was good for Middlesbrough he's good for Fulham doesn't make too many mistakes but doesn't make too many amazing saves either and that is basically why he's an 81 he's just above the average he's better than average but he's not the best so I think 81 is about right for him next up we have Chris Baird of Northern Ireland um, he's played over 100 games for Fulham and has been Mr. Consistent um, but in terms of consistency he's it's not like he's not amazing he um He's an average, uh, a very, very average player, to be fair to Chris Baird. Um, but he does have his days, but I think, you know, because he's quite average, I think 71 is about right. I think I've kept him at the same level, purely because he had an okay season last season um, and didn't put too many feet didn't put too many feet out of line, didn't put a foot out of line really and um, was just kind of there or thereabouts really, a pretty decent player um, but not amazing so it'll probably still be a silver. Next up we have Aaron Hughes, another Northern Irish player, um, quite old now Aaron Hughes, he is getting on, um, yeah look 30, I think he's 32 now actually, uh, but Aaron Hughes is, he's um, an old fashioned centre back, uh, the Irish do make for good centre backs but you know he's not he's lacking really he's often quite a position or um quite dodgy on set pieces and for that reason i think 77 he is just he's, a, he's he would be an okay gold really he's um nothing too amazing nothing too special but not he's not exactly shit either so i think around 77 would be fair enough for him and um you know he should do a good job but i mean when you're next to this man a ready hangerland Brady Hangeland, uh, yeah, that's right, isn't it? I think Tyler used to call him Brian. Brian Hangeland, no, it's Brady Hangeland from uh, from Norway. He was actually born in the US as well. There's a cool fact for you who's born in Texas. Uh, but Hangeland is um, such a good sense back again. One of these setbacks backs, which is so under uh, underrated, uh, not overrated, underrated. Uh, you know, kind of goes under the radar a bit. And Hangeland is very, very good. He's um, a very suave consistent and um, impressive centre back really he's quite smooth and calm as well he won't you know make a hash too many hashes out of it and uh, he actually you know he's quite a good goal scoring uh, centre back as well scored six goals in the 2010-2011 season last year was a tiny bit harder for him but I mean Hangland is a very good player and I think again he's one of the better centre backs so an 82 would be around the around the right uh, the right rating for him is a very good player. Next up we have the Kraken, John Arnarisa, or at least the Kraken, uh, I'm not going to do the impression, uh, but yeah, John Arnarisa had a pretty solid season last year, I think, you know, keep him around the same level, but it's, it's nice to see him back in the Premier League, and he's done a pretty good job really, he's a very consistent player, And um, but also very talented as well, and I think 77 is about right, probably a non-rare. Uh, next up we have... Um, Quite a quite an average player really in Steve Sibwell. Sibwell Sibwell has been around the Premier League, even played for Chelsea a couple of years ago. Never does anything too amazing really. He does kind of struggle to impose himself and I think he's the pinnacle of a seventy five player. He's not shit enough to be a silver, but he's not amazing enough to be anywhere near the top gold. So I think seventy five would be good, although it's not impossible to see him going down to a seventy four. Next up is a player that there's a lot of buzz going around. Uh, he has been dubbed the new Messi or Messi number two or whatever, the Turkish Messi or the Austrian. He is um of both Turkish and Austrian heritage, but Karim Frey Frey Frey, however you pronounce it is a very very good player from what I've seen um, I have been following him on YouTube because he is quite an exciting player to watch he's uh, quite small but quite good in the ball he's um, in and out basically he does play a lot like Messi in that sense and he's um, he's one of those players which I reckon should and could be one of the better Premier League silvers I think he'll probably be four star skills next year although you know we could be surprised and he could still be three or you know maybe even two who knows it is EA but Frey is a good player Frey Frey however you pronounce it he is definitely a good player 
and uh, it, you know if um, Martin Yole thinks he's got the potential he m we may see him starting in that starting lineup again guys obviously I'm not Martin Yole I don't know what formation they're going to play uh, but as one Fulham fan told me they're probably likely to try if they keep Dempsey try to include Dempsey, Ruiz and Petrick um, with Rod Aiega coming off the bench. Next up we have uh, Dembele, a player who originally started off as a forward but last year really kind of matured in the midfield actually. Um, he found his uh, Fan is cool almost in the midfield, and uh, that's uh, this man Musa Dembele. Pardon me. Uh, he was very, very impressive last year. Got seven assists from midfield, and uh, that's pretty decent actually for a player who's you know started out his life in England as a striker. I think Yole has utilised him well, definitely in the midfield, and he's a very exciting player to watch. Uh, Musa Dembele. He's very good on the ball, very technical, very skillful, and. Um, an absolute delight to watch and he has no surprise he's been linked with several other clubs really yeah he's a great player and I think an 80 would be about right maybe an 81 or an 82 if EA are feeling generous but I think 80 is good for him as a midfielder he is a very talented one and um, he should definitely be a rare and maybe who knows we might even see five star skills next up we have uh, Brian Ruiz a tough first season for him he was deadly at FC Twente in the Eredivisie but he has struggled at the Premier League he did score that lovely chipped goal I can't remember who it was against at Craven Cottage um but yeah, he did struggle, and I've put him down to an 81. I think he was an 82 last year, maybe even be an 83, I wasn't sure. Uh, but an 81, I think, is about right. He is definitely a player of talent, um, but again, struggling to impose himself in a pretty tough uh, Premier League. But I mean, you know, if he gets off to a good start this season, who knows? He can be a very deadly player when he's got the ability, and that chip he scored uh, really was, you know, really highlighted that. Next up, we're going to go to Petrick. We're going to skip the main man for a bit. Uh, Petrick is a very, very good player, actually, guys. Um, His main what was the word his main I don't want to say achievement but one of the things people may remember him for is he was the man that scored the goal which meant England couldn't go to Euro 2008 uh, way back I remember watching um, I think it was a dodgy Carson save maybe I'm not sure but it was after Crouchy scored and yeah this is this is the man we must blame he wasn't even born in Croatia he was born in Bosnia Herzegovina Bosnia Herzegovina um, <laughs> during the um, the war when he was born whenever um, well a bit before the war actually but yeah he's a very talented player and he has he, he did score 38 goals in 98 games for Hamburg which is not too shabby at all and uh, he's basically linking up with Martin Yolan and it looks like a very good transfer uh, alternatively they have got Hugo Hugo Rodiega um, who I reckon will be about 76 but Petrick is definitely a player who can score he can score goals and um, that's why I think he deserves an 81 I haven't upgraded or downgraded him um, but you know time will tell as soon as he joins the Premier League whether or not he hits the ground running like Peregniak did or um finds it tough and now we have the main man Clint Dempsey um, just like Hangalun born in Texas and uh, he's a, I'm a big admirer of Dempsey I don't know if you've heard about his story uh, if you haven't go and look it up um, his sister died of a brain aneurysm when they were quite when he was quite young and um, he's had a tough time but he's such a good player isn't he Clint Dempsey do admire the guy 23 goals for Fulham last season which is crazy good, I guess, for someone. You know, he really, really did find his feet. First ever American to score a hat-trick in the Premier League. He's such a good player, and I think 84 is about right. You know, he had he has been consistently good for Fulham for a long, long time now. Uh, always been underrated, but he finally, you know, hit the headlines, I guess. Um, hit the right notes, and I think that's why he deserves to be up there with the best, really. He is... A very, 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 very good player, Clint Dempsey. And I think 84 will be good. He'll be a very good player. Maybe they boost his pace a bit. More people will use him. Who knows? Uh, he's often left out of quite a lot of Prem teams because he's pace this year. But I think Clint Dempsey is such a good player and he definitely deserves more recognition. And I think 41 would be about right for him. So thanks guys for watching and I will see you guys in uh, Liverpool, the big one to, uh, tomorrow or maybe the day after. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you guys later.